Hey everyone, it's Joy here for Honeybee Stamps. I am so excited to share the brand new seaside summer stamp that's going to create this beautiful, gorgeous ocean scene. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my piece of white cardstock in my Misty, and this is what we're going to build our scene on. And here is this beautiful seaside summer stamp. You've got sand, ocean, palm trees, fences, grass, clouds, birds. I mean, the sun, you have so much. Or it could be the moon if you're going to make a nighttime one. But we're going to do like a sunset type one, that, which is what was on my mind. So you kind of need to do this in a certain order to some degree, which I discovered. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to start with the sand and I'm going to lay this out on the bottom. This makes a slightly smaller than a two sides um, card, which I will trim this down. So you'll see that I have some white areas on the side, but don't panic. We will get rid of that. So I'm going to start with my sand and I am using some Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks and some uh, Distress Oxide inks for this background. I just was trying to get the right colors. So also on the website, when you on Honeybee Stamps website, when you go look at the, the Seaside Summer Stamp, there is a, um, a layout to show you kind of how it's supposed to go together. And it really is super simple as you can see. So let's see. So for the sand, I used antique linen and then latte and cappuccino. And you can see that there's three different parts there. And I just let them kind of slightly overlap each other just so I didn't have a white line between. And then I'm just blending in some antique linen because when I line up the ocean, that part of the cardstock would still be white. And I didn't want that. You could do that and maybe it would probably look like a ton of that white foam once the waves pop in, but that's not what I was going for. So I will say when you're inking that up, ink it up with something really light because when I stamp over it with this part of the stamp, you're gonna see that it turns my blue ink a little bit green. I don't mind that and it really, most of it went away, but if you went darker, it's gonna blend those colors together. So just FYI on that. So I am using um, Mermaid Lagoon and Salvaged Patina on this stamp set. And then you can see I'm just bringing in my blender brush to blend the two colors together on the actual stamp itself so you don't have like that straight line. But now we've got this beautiful ocean. And then you have the like the white foamy parts to the ocean. And I am using Hero Arts Unicorn ink for that. And I'm cleaning it in between because I don't know if it's going to pick up some of that blue ink and I don't want my ink pad to get ruined. So there's the pieces that kind of line up with the white spots that were left open from the ocean stamp. Now there's a couple more stamps that we're gonna put on here. So you kind of have it where the sun is glimmering on the ocean. So you have this long piece that I'm just gonna put right in the center. And I'm gonna use that same uh, white ink. And white, you know, white ink takes forever to dry, so just be aware of that when you are stamping your images. And then I've got one more piece that I'm gonna line up. You guys, I have to say, this release from Honeybee Stamps I think is my most favorite because there's so much ocean and beach stuff, which is my absolute favorite. And when I saw this, I could not wait to use this. So I am just really am super excited to share this with you guys because it is so fabulous. Okay, so definitely do it in the order I did of doing the sand, the ocean, if you're doing the, any white, definitely do that first. Then do the fence and plants and stuff like that because I started this and I hadn't done the white, you know, parts of the ocean and I had done everything else. I had done the fence and the plants and I'm like, that's not going to work because I'm going to end up stamping over it. Now, you will see some of the white ink coming through your stamped images, but it's not that big of a deal. Like it just didn't stress me out, it didn't bother me too much. So I stamped the fence with Cozy Ink from Simon Says Stamp. And it's kind of this grayish brown, and I thought it was perfect for the fence, absolutely gorgeous. And then the plants are Mowed Lawn and Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide inks. And then there is some cattails that I'm using, the same greens. And then I believe I used uh, the cappuccino for the top parts of the little cattails. Now, these don't like to kind of stand up on their own, so I, it was kind of hard to stick it to the Misty because the stem is so thin. So I finally wised up after doing this for a minute and just used my uh, little acrylic block to stamp the next one, which made it super, super simple. And I'm just inking up 
and just inking onto the stamp the two colors, super simple to do. So I'm gonna finish stamping some grass and then we're gonna bring in another couple little mounds of sand. Now, I it was a little dark for me but I ended up lightening it up with another color of ink, so I will show you that in just a second. But you have these two little mounds that go on either side of the fence. Now, obviously, you could leave the fence off and just do plants there. You could not do plants and just the fence. You could do one fence. And so, I mean, you really can kind of change this up how you like. So here is the sand, and it was a little dark with the cappuccino, so I actually brought in the antique linen over top, and you can see that that lightened it up, and to me it turned out completely perfect. So now let's, uh, let's finish with some little sand dots, which I'd stamped the same color as I did those little, those little mounds, but I did second generation stamping since it was so dark. And then I went back over it again with the antique linen just to lighten it up. So obviously, you know, whatever colors work for you, but this is kind of how I found that I got a good, a good brown. Okay, so for the sky, I just have a scratch piece of paper masking off the bottom. I am using squeezed lemonade and then Kitsch Flamingo Distress Oxide inks. I'm gonna blend those together in the center, which is obviously gonna give us a really beautiful orange and this sky turned out so fantastic and against that really blue ocean of the mermaid lagoon and salvage patina i just think this background is so so pretty and it just i would totally be here <laughs> drinking a pina colada okay so i'm just going to finish blending that which we got a really gorgeous gorgeous blend now we can start stamping some more of these images but we needed to get that sky so i'm going to do the sun and I stamped this in scattered straw. You could also do like an orange or something like that, but I really kind of wanted it muted. I'm just masking it off with a piece of low tack tape and then just stamping that on the horizon. I wanted it to look like it was setting. And then I'm just gonna lightly blend over that again with the scattered straw. And then I can remove that little masking piece of tape. And now we have our sunset. Okay, so in this you have a sailboat you've got a, a big mountain with trees a small mountain with trees and so i'm using the small mountain and the sailboat now here's where i made a mistake and i wish i would not have done it in black ink not for this card i think sometimes in black ink it's gorgeous but i stamped it in black ink and immediately was like nope it is too dark for the rest of the scene so I wished I would have done it the same that I'm going to do the birds in. The birds, I did it in cozy, the same as the fence. I would have either done it in cozy or what I'm going to do the palm trees in, in woodsy ink. And so, yeah, I, I was a little bummed by it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I wish I would have done a little bit lighter. So here are the cute birds. This is done in cozy ink. And I stamped two sets of those. There's also some palm, palm tree fronds, which I'm in love with. This is the woodsy ink that I think I really wish I would have stamped the uh, black images in. And I actually end up going over the black images with it. And it does kind of soften the black a little bit. It just tones it down. But look at how beautiful those palm fronds are against that sky. This is not a black ink, but it's just a really dark, yummy brown. So I think it just is really kind of perfect like a grayish brown so I'm going to just finish adding those at the top I'm going to add two more and I love the misty for being able to slide around your card <laughs> to get it to where you can have your stamp pieces you know hanging off the edge so let's do one more just overlapping and isn't that so so pretty okay so now there's also clouds, but this is where I decide that I think I'm going to stamp over this because I want it just a little bit lighter. And like I said, when I stamped over it with the woodsy, I felt like it made it a tiny bit less harsh. And you may not be able to see it on the camera, but again, I would have done it a little bit lighter. So now, like I said, there's clouds. So let's come back in with some white pigment ink and stamp these clouds. So I have them all over the background. I'm just gonna finish with this last one here, but you can just kind of see there's a few different shapes. And I'm just gonna ink that up. And they're very light, but so, so pretty. Isn't that so gorgeous? Okay, let's add a little bit of white pen detail underneath the boat and underneath that rock, because right now it just looks like it's floating out in the middle of nowhere. So let's add some more of that white, you know, water 
to the around the edges of that. And then we can trim this down. I'm just going to trim off that excess white area. And then I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom and the top. And look at how gorgeous this scene is. I really want to use this and make a nighttime scene because I think that would be so fun. Then I'm using the Seize the Day stamp set, which has is the sentiments and it has coordinating dies, but I did not use that. And it says Seize the Day and I'm stamping that in black ink. I thought I might as well bring in some more black ink since I already stamped those images in black. I'm going to adhere this to a white A2 size card base and then I'm using Honeybee Stamps B Shimmery watercolor and I'm gonna just add that to those white areas in the ocean. So when you move this card to the side, it's actually gonna shimmer like when you're, actu when you're at the beach and all that water is so shimmery and glittery and gorgeous. That is what I wanted. So using this B shimmery is absolutely perfect for that. So I did that in the center and then I decided to go across all of those little white lines in the water. And I'm just gonna finish that and you have a great one layer card, which I don't usually make one layer cards, but this is fantastic. And look at how beautiful that turned out. I'm so in love with the Seaside Summer Stamp Set. So thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope that you feel inspired to create something wonderful. And I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.